Today was the first full day of testimony in the trial of Marco Perez, who's accused of killing Mobile police officer Sean Tudor. That was in late January of 2019. Yeah, Fox News, Dacian Smith in the courtroom today. And Dacian, prosecutors calling several witnesses, right? That's right, the state has already called over 10 witnesses who spoke about the events that led up to Officer Sean Tudor's death. Now, in 2019, Officer Tudor was part of the apprehension team, and officers were already looking for Perez after he violated conditions of his pretrial release on a federal gun charge. One of the witnesses called was probation officer Clay Marshall, who testified that Perez was supposed to be living at his mother's house, and she was to notify the court if that changed. However, Marshall says he got a call on January 8th that Perez was missing and possibly kidnapped. Investigators later concluded it was a hoax and that Perez had actually been gone from his mother's house for more than a week before it was reported. The state also called Don Roper, who says Perez was at his trailer in Wilmer on January 8th or 9th. At first, he says Perez had told him he had been kidnapped, but later admitted to running from police. Roper says he was driving Perez to his dad and had him on the phone when Perez heard that a detective was looking for him. Roper testified that Perez jumped from his truck before it came to a complete stop. Also testifying today, a man who says he had a 40 caliber Smith & Wesson handgun stolen from his truck outside his home in January of 2019. That's the gun used to fatally shoot Officer Tudor. The witness says he didn't realize his gun had been stolen until detectives called saying it had been used in a crime. Another witness who knew Perez from high school testified that a few days before Tudor's death, he saw Marco Perez with a gun and he says Perez did admit that the gun was stolen and even took pictures holding it with him and another friend. Now, Judge Brooks did opt to let the jury go around 430 today because of weather concerns, but the state will continue to call witnesses tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Live from Government Plaza, Jason Smith, Fox 10 News.